What's up, everybody? My name is Ron Empire, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back, everybody. And now we're going to take a look at a game called Historii City Florence. And this game was available for the Steam Next Fest, uh, currently Alpha 2.5.1 demo. And let me read to you the uh, Steam page description for this. Uh, a historical mission-based, stylized 3D city builder set in Renaissance Florence. Use the strength of your economy, the power of religion, and the beauty of classical art and architecture to rebuild a city decimated by the Black Plague and civil unrest. This game is quite unique in the art style, and uh, I briefly played it. Um, and it's, it's interesting. I kind of like it for the design style. So we're going to jump in. We're going to do a new game. So this game is available for everyone. You guys can check it out. There is a time limit in game or sorry, real world time limit. I believe you can only play for an hour and a half. And so, uh, keep that in mind. And then you can restart anytime you want and experiment within the time frame. So let me go ahead and jump in. I actually like the uh, the style of this game. And play the gambler. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. All right, so we're paused, right? Let me pause this. Game pause, right? So if you hit escape key, I think it should tell you no. Oh, it won't tell you. Hang on, is it this key right? There we go. Not escape key. It's it's the uh, gears here. So. Demo time remaining is 1 hour and 29 minutes. Roughly 30, uh, 30 minutes right there. So 1 hour and 30 minutes. And this is real world time. Unlike that last demo that we played. That was in-game time frame. So let's go ahead and resume this. Click here to resume at normal speed. Press 1. Or, or you can toggle the pause. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and resume it. Because I believe there's a pop-up right after this. To move the camera, right click and drag uh, WASD, sure. And then to zoom is middle mouse button, right? To rotate the camera, middle click and drag or move the uh, mouse wheel holding the Alt key or on Windows or Option key or use the Q and E. I just hold down the middle mouse button and I can just rotate it like however I want like this. This is the easiest way to rotate the camera. All right, so click here to view mission objectives. Boom. Hover to see the to see mission details and rewards. So this is the mission detail. Let me pause this. I don't know if that I don't know if that slows down my my uh, demo time frame. But let's read this quickly. Uh, in this demo, you were responsible for an area of rural, rural countryside surrounding Florence, Italy, beginning in late. 1348. Earlier this year, the city was ravaged by a pandemic known as the Black Death, which devastated the population. People will soon begin returning from their plague-induced exodus and will need somewhere to live. You must rehabilitate this deserted land into a thriving community. Good luck! Place a new house next to the existing one and assign your, your two workers to your builder's tent to finish construction. Your third citizen is a head of household, so they cannot be assigned. So it's kind of like in Mana Lords, with the exception is the, the head of the household does not work. For some reason, the head of the household just basically stays at home, right? Maybe they're all like housewives or house husband, right? Then build a logging camp next to the nearby forest to ensure that you can harvest more wood as your city grows. All right. And then the objective here is basic rural house and then logging site. So let's do that. So at the start of the game, everything is gated. Um, I don't actually have the full choice here until I complete the missions. And this here, it says mission rewards. I will get a well, I'll get a farm or barn or something like that. The barn house and then the, the wheat field and then 27 log. That will slowly unlock over time. I mean, there is one other trick that I can do, which is slightly cheesy. 
uh, that you can actually trick the game by clicking on this right here. And then you can actually clone it, right? This is a clone tool. And so if I wanted to clone the road, even though the road is not available to me right now, I could just click on this and then draw the road, right? If I wanted to clone the... I can't clone that one. I can clone the road. I think you only get one builder's hut. Right, well, let's go ahead and just clone that. There. Click here to assign and release workers, sure. And I'm going to add in the two workers. Right, because that's all we've got. Down here is the population count. Right, we have three people. Unemployment here, and this is the population, right? So the, it basically says the third person uh, can't work. Number of open housing space for new residents? None, right? What is this? Attractiveness rating is 100%. Housing rating. Uh, economy rating. Happiness. Immigration is 0.5 per minute. Okay, and these are the resources down here, right? Wood, stone, wheat. Wheat is food. Wheat is food. They'll eat it raw, actually. Olives, grapes, muton, mutton, mutton, right? It's mutton. Water, bread, wine, olive oil, and statue. Okay. Let's go ahead and unpause. Yeah, we wasted four minutes. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. And I need to build the, the log site, right? And that will chop everything within that area. I think I get the most. I can't go there, right? Nope, okay. So this will probably give me the most. The bang for the, your bucks. Uh, press R to rotate structure. Right click or escape to, to cancel. Yeah. all we can do for now, right? Sit around and wait. Forest? I don't know what that is. Oh, you can prioritize what they chop, huh? Very interesting. Cool. So yeah, this is the entire map. I like the stylized 3D artwork. It's very cool. And they're coming in from this road over here. This guy wants to join us. And we have space for people, right? Hello, how are you? How are you? It's kind of funny, these people. They look like little toys. Toy dolls. Mission complete, right? Yeah, alright, so we just click on complete. Now we gotta do the wooden well, simple barn, and wheat. Where do I want this well? Orson wells. And then the simple barn. Alright, so desirability. We do not want it to be near the villager's home. Because then we lose desirability. And then the red space around it is actually the only working space for placing wheat. So... That's a little FYI there.
might want two, right? Up to this spot right here. Sure, let's go with that one for now. One simple barn and then wheat fields. One wheat field. Two wheat fields. Just to move the the quest along. And I need to add in workers. I need workers. We don't have any workers, why? Oh my god. Where'd everyone else go? Lazy bastards. Oh, because the other guy was the head of a household, so that means he can't actually do anything. Let me, um, let me just add another one here. Okay, there's two people now, right? Okay, his other family member showed up. Yeah, his, his wife showed up. <laughs> Alright. Nope, can't do it right. Hurry, please. And what's my reward? Okay, so mission number two says... It's vitally important to ensure your citizens always have enough to eat and drink or they will die. Build a well near your houses, then a barn and two wheat fields nearby so your heads of household can collect water and you can assign farmers to grow wheat. Farmers will only work uh, any nearby crops that are in season and will otherwise rest in the barn. You can use the game speed button at the top right of the screen to hurry the construction, right? That's still being constructed. How much wood do we have? We have six, eight wood. We gotta wait for the wood. Come on. You're slow as hell. Hammer that shit. Yeah, let's zoom in and take a look at this. Boo! I'm building. I'm a slow ass builder. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's really slow at her work her her job there. The head of the household collects the wheat, right? I think it says somewhere they eat three a year, right? To upgrade. Uh, this basic rural house requires one water, a desirability of one. It will then become a nice rural house. Rural houses uh, provide a combination of storage resources, it includes the head of household who gathers resources for inhabitants consumption. Okay. The head of the household is basically the guy that that gathers shit. Work has stopped because there's no more room to store. Click here to return to normal speed. Okay. No, I don't have any unemployment. No, we do have un unemployment. There we go. We need this. Alright. We need more. 
more homes, right? So we get more people to show up. What are you doing? There's no more place. There we go, it's full now, right? I need to upgrade this. Upgrade uh, basic log camps. Uh, logging allows you to assign workers who harvest nearby forests to reduce wood. Uh, logging camp allows you to assign workers who will... Um, doesn't say what the upgrade is going to give me. I think it's just more people. More people slot. It's vitally important. Yeah, we already read this. Complete. So now we get the road and we get 10 wood. Take it. Basic uh, rural house. I need four of those. Road actually costs one piece of wood. Yeah, it costs wood to make roads. Crazy, right? Crazy. Okay. I think it says somewhere that they eat three three food per year and one water per year. Let me read this. Population mission one. Grow your population to increase the, uh, the amount of workers you can assign. Your immigration rate is based on your city's attractiveness, which you can learn about by hovering over the percentage icons at the bottom left of the screen. Remember to provide enough food, water, and housing for your citizens to grow. Attractiveness. This is a rating of how attractive your city is to immigrants based on your rating, ratings in housing, economy, and later religion. If if your city has too many vagrants, your attractiveness ratings become uh, uh, your rating becomes so becomes O and immigration becomes zero becomes zero, and immigration halts until you build more houses. Okay, vagrant is homeless, right? This is the rating of the current state of housing your city uh, your city in relation to the, in relation to the expect expectations of your citizens. Your citizens' demand will increase as your city grows, and a higher rating helps drive immigration. Uh, housing score or housing quality scores 25%. Housing quantity is 100%. Okay. Where does it say how much food? Uh, barns allow you to build farms and pastures nearby and assign workers to them. Farmers will work any crops that are in season and blah 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 blah. Uh, barns also prevent crops from spoiling, as uh, any crops that remain on their farm at the end of of their harvest seasons are lost. Okay. Sure. I need to make 12 wheat. Oh, it's maximum. I don't have any more unemployment units. That's one builder, right? There we go. And this is desirability. That's the... The workers' management screen. We need more wood. And we're gonna run out of food here soon. And we're gonna run out of food soon. Probably more important to get. Does it tell me the roads actually give me speed or no? Dirt roads out citizens to travel more quickly than undeveloped land. Yeah, that's what it does. It does. Cool, I completed a mission. Uh 
Continue building homes for new immigrants. Okay. So, continue building homes for new immigrants and wheat fields to keep them fed. Each citizen eats three food items per year. Crop yields can be increased by assigning more farmers and crops are harvested once per year for pickup by head of household. Yes. And then now we need to do manually upgrade a structure. Uh, mission four, right? Advancing infrastructure. All uh, though houses upgrades, uh, though houses upgrade on their own once their requirements are met, other structures must be upgraded manually at, at a cost. Select a structure, and if it is possible, uh, if it is upgradable, you will see you will see an upgrade button in the info panel. Basic upgrade, uh, sorry, basic upgradable structures, including a logging site, simple barn, and builder's tent. Upgrade this guy. It requires eight, right? I can't upgrade it yet. It's fine. I need wood. Watch this. To upgrade this one. Twenty. Can't do that either. The barn requires twenty-five. We need lots of wood. To upgrade. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. At least, at least the builder's hauling it. Town square. Oh, that's a very vagrant stairs. This one. Is eight? Here we go. Complete, right? We already read this. Complete. So let's slow this down. So build a mine. Build stone well. Or stone, yeah, a stone well. And then up, upgrade the stone well. Sorry, upgrade the stone well. And upgrade to rural houses. So population mission one. Grow your population to increase the amount of workers you can assign. Your immigration uh, rate is based on your city's... Oh yeah, we already read that. What about mission two? Or fish five, right? Mission five. Advanced structures require uh, stone. So build a mine on the nearby stone deposit just west of your settlement. Uh, once uh, your miners have attracted enough stone, 
extracted, right? Once your miners have extracted enough stone, upgrade a wooden well to a stone well to provide desirability to, incur, uh, to nearby houses and allow them to upgrade. I know. Okay. I believe this is the only... There's only one way to do this. Yeah, I can't rotate it otherwise. It only... Yeah, it overlays right on top of that. That's my only choice. How many people do we have? There's no one unemployed right now. We need more workers. We need more lurkers. How much wood do we have? We have six, right? And that requires 20. You're working on this, right? Somehow I get the feeling I need another woodcutter to camp. That's all right. Let's, we'll, we'll stick to the mission plan. Upgrade the well and upgrade the rural house. That requires four stones. We don't have four stones yet. Okay, that's fine. Just have to wait it out. This is three, right? To get the population to a 20, I need about seven? Seven houses. And that one I need, right? That means this guy here is what I need. Increase. How much is it to upgrade this? Oh, we can't do it. I think it's better to get another woodcutter. I don't know. Is there a hauler? I don't know if there's a hauler. I think the builder's the hauler. We're out of food soon. How much does this generate me? Six? About six. Six per year, right? Max crop yield is six wheat. How many people do we have? We have 12. We should, really should make a surplus. What was that? Two pieces, right? Dip, 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 dip. Cut slap, welcome back. Base railing, welcome. All right, so that's now done, right? So, how much wood do we have? We have twelve. We have twelve. See, or I should probably add another house. Wait, no, we need to add in workers, right? One, oh shit. One. Reduce this. One. Let's 
We got 16 now. So that requires what? Stones? Let's build a road. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I need another house or I actually I need two houses to meet the requirements. And to upgrade this, I need stones. I need four stones for the other thing, right? stones. Hurry. We got 21 wheat. Nice. So wait, they they eat three a year. So three a year and we currently have 15, right? What does it say? Three, every, is it every house or every person? I think it's every person, right? Or is it every house? I forgot what it said. Every house eats three a year? Or is it every person? Forgot. We just need to make a surplus, that's all I can say. And then one more house. Instantaneous. Nice. Um, yeah, alright. So we already read this, right? Complete mission. What's this? We get vineyard? Olive garden? Oh, oh, sorry. Olive grove. Winery. Olive crests. Basic market. Cool. We got a market, right? So upgrade the luxurious. Upgrade to luxurious. Rural house. That means we need. Oh. And how do I get this to automatically upgrade? Nice house? Basic. Oh. Market. Olive Grove. Interesting. Let me slow this down a little bit. I don't know what the requirement is to get that high. Dark green is good, right? Dark green is good. guy has nothing in range. Oh, shit. Can I move it? I don't think I can move it. Are you kidding me? I gotta... Oh my god. Stick this out. Oh, shit. I gotta right-click in it. And I have no more wood. I have no more wood. 
cancel? Can I cancel? How do I cancel something? They're still delivering that one. Let me cancel this one too. Because I need to get the lumber mill somewhere else. It's tree does regrow. If you noticed. It's a whole force over there. Screwed. We're screwed. We have no more. We have a little bit of wood. Nice. Nice. I don't need that many. High priority. Right, we can probably get this guy back, right? Boom. Um, get more food here. Grace? Three units, two units. Uh, vineyards are tended by farmers to grow and harvest grapes. Eight. I don't have that. Lots of releases recently? Yes, Infinity Dave. Lots of releases. Ridiculous. I've got like two other games. Three other games that I got keys for that's releasing. One is already released recently. A couple of weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Um, one is releasing Thursday that I got a key, but I have an embargo, so I can't stream or make content until Thursday. Or I can make content, but I can't post it until Thursday on my YouTube. Um, that game is... That game is... Space Prison. Norlands is already... is The embargo has already been lifted. I've already streamed that, but that's releasing Thursday as well. Uh, Auction on Clued is releasing Thursday. The DLC. I've already streamed that, but I do want to stream some more of that uh, before the release because I think it's the same version that goes into release. And I haven't. I need to stream it or at least play it because there's skin drops that I haven't collected for this week yet before Thursday. Otherwise, I have to like AFK that in the background overnight because Thursday afternoon is the cutoff. Um, for the weekly drops. You can only get three week, three skins a week. Crust recently launched yesterday, right? The, the, the Crust. Let me click on this. Um, is there anyone else? Yeah, okay. And then there's another game. Deck of Souls, right? That was the two, three weeks ago. Um... The other game tomorrow, I think it's Union, 
Uh, is it tomorrow? You, I think it's tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow, yeah. Union, Union of Gnomes. That's another one, right? All right. Complete mission. So we've already worked on this, right? We've already got 20 people. Yeah, we don't have enough food, guys. We have four workers. We need more food. Holy shit, we need more food. Can I upgrade this? It's 25. Jesus Christ. I wonder if I need a second barn. What does this do? Small plaza provides desirability, which allows houses to upgrade and can be an increased and can be increased with a statue from an art uh, artist's workshop. Oh, look at that! Blue is the maximum, right? Super good, right? The square. Well, blue is the best, right? do that. I guess I can just have houses around it on the side, right? I can rotate that house if I... I mean, that's probably okay, because then I can put some houses around it. Let's go with that. Increases desirability? I don't know if that I don't think desirability is increased by the roads. Roads do not increase desirability. Alright, we'll, we'll we'll wait until the thingy finishes, right? Actually, you know, hang on. Cancel this. I think we need houses there. Oh shit, somebody died? Oh, we got a death in the family? That's because they're hungry, right? Number of people have died. People eat three food items per year. One can be a luxury item. Okay, so it's, it's each person eats. It's not the household that eats. Markets employs vendors to stock bread, moot, mutton. Okay, yeah. Can I upgrade this yet? No, right? That cost me 25 wood. Oh my god! 
five people starved and died out. So what's the twist on this one, this game? Norland was alright. I actually like Norland. It just had had a few bug and lag issues. I hope the developers fix that. Because I would like to stream that again. This one is a demo. It's not out yet. And I only have like 46 minutes left on this demo. I like this. This is challenging. I like city builders that are, are challenging in terms of trying to maintain the economy, the food, right? And trying to get the missions, advance of the missions before the timer runs out. I mean, the, the replayability factor on this is, can I maintain the population as quickly as possible and also complete my objective, my mission number six? How many missions can I complete in one hour and 30 minutes, I think is, is the, um, the challenge for the demo. Right, because the demo ends in 30 minutes, 45 minutes. That means we've already, we've already lapsed about 45 minutes. And we've already got like, what, six people dying already? What I should have done was basically made more, more barns at the start of the game. Right, more barns, more food. Food basically was my bottleneck, my downfall on this run. And wood, right? Wood and food. They are starving because there's no more food left. There's nothing in the inventory. Oh, we're so screwed, guys. Having food problems. Yep, we're having food problems. Now I know what not to do, right? Or now I know what I need to do, right? Seven people died because we don't have any food. I 
need to get that population to 40, right? I need a uh, luxury. This is hard, right? This is very hard. I think to to win faster, I need to probably set it on max speed, right? To get as far as I can in the demo, I have to max speed that. does the planting or is that builder they don't know I think that's a builder I think it's the builder that does that Yep, it's the builder that actually builds the wheat field. The farmer is the one that actually plants the shit. died. We don't have food. Nice homes. Can I destroy that? Can I destroy that and get refunds? I don't know if I get refunds. We do get refunds. How many how many was was used to make it? Three oh we don't get full refunds. Well, right? was fun. pretty sure we don't get full refunds. Nope, we don't get refunds. It's 12. We wasted 12. Shit, we lost them. Prioritize. Chop that. get this higher. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's gonna cause a problem, isn't it? Because that house is there. I don't know if they need... Yeah, that house is right there, right? needs to get out. Right, 
it needs to be able to get out. I think that's fine, right? How do I get to the next level? Uh, to upgrade, nice rural home requires one wine or one olive oil and desirability of two. It will then become a luxury. Okay, so I need oil. Or olive oil, whatever. Winery. Or winery. Oh my god! I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. We need more wood. This immigration keeps pouring in. Food, right? Food. Jesus Christ, we need lots of food. Twenty-five? We don't have twenty-five. Yeah, let's <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make the the uh, objectives before the time runs out. 34 minutes. Do I get this back? No, I don't get... Oh shit, I don't get the wood back. Well, that was fail. And we'll get the wood back. Oh, that's not even in my range for chopping. That's why. That's why it's not chopping because it's not in that range. weird having this interface. It would have been just easier if I just click on it and say, hey, add a worker, right? I have to always go to this to manage my workers, which is annoying. That could be better. Our food situation is really bad. They need 12... 
Hang on. 23 people? Yeah, we're definitely needing more food. We did this really badly. I am enjoying this game. I do like this. We don't have homeless people, right? There's not a homeless problem. Three, four. We might have a homeless problem right now. No, not really. What's this one do? Pasture? Are tended by farmers to raise sheep. Sheep consumes water and produce mutton and can be consumed as a basic food item by your citizen. Oh. Interesting. How much is that? It's just, what is that? Five pieces of logs. Okay. We definitely need more wood. More wood needed, sire. Oh, to get to luxurious, we only need desirability of two. This is more than enough, actually. More than enough. Technically, we didn't need to do anything too crazy. There's 20 logs in there, right? Very cozy, very relaxed. I do like this. It's too bad there's a timer on it. I can't play this. I can't uh, chill. Have any wine, right? We do have grapes. We 
do have grapes. That makes wine. Is that edible? Not suitable for a direct consumption. Why do they not want us to eat food directly? I mean, people eat grapes directly all the time. Should be able to get this. Um, push your right. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Six, seven. We're gonna be eight, right? Prioritize. Somebody else needs to work there. How much longer is this? Wood, right? Upgrade. That increases desirability. We need to grow the population. So, 8 times 3, hang on. 8 times 5, right? That's 40. 8 times 5, yeah, 8 times 5 is 40. Just demolishes. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. We can just demolish. That's fine. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. There you go. Cool. I did the luxury. Now what? What else? Oh, click here to manage Easter service. Ooh, look at that. Grow population to 40. And then what's the next one? Write a passage. Your population has reached a size where your citizens now expect a public ob observance of Easter at the beginning of every spring. Oh, we gotta have Easter. To complete this mission, you will need to choose a celebration level using the new Easter service button below and to ensure at least one resource is delivered for the event. Easter services increase your town's religion rating, at which boosts immigration and allows for advanced housing upgrades. Uh, hosting better stocked events uh, at nicer venues will earn you a higher rating, so in subsequent years you should strive to reduce surplus goods and build enough church capacity for all your citizens. Celebrating Easter in a church also increases the happiness and thus the productivity of the uh, of attendees, right? Wow, these guys really want some religious shit going here. They want bread and wine. <laughs> Bread and wine. Lord, give us our daily bread. Right. I don't think I can choose right now. Oh, okay. We don't even have food for this. Dock and complete Easter service. Okay, it's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Mutton, right? Is there a uh, butcher? All right, tax office. What's this do? What do I do with the money? Imperiums allow merchants to collect and trade goods for money. Click on uh, to offer and accept it, and it will remain active until cancel. Oh, interesting. We can tax them, that we can use that money to trade, right? this what's going on due to the lack of church capacity this town square is hosting Easter services where's the wine dear Lord give us wine oh oh there we go we are mission complete your population has reached a size where your citizens now expect a public is there yeah we already read that complete mission so now they want what upgrade to basic urban apartment or basic rural apartments where's the where's the next one what's the next level Basic rural apartment with a surrounding population of no more than zero within three tiles. Oh. It becomes a basic urban apartment with surrounding population of at least three, at least one within three tiles. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. That might be fine, right? Oh, we don't have enough food here. What does this do? 30 years of that? What does that do? I don't care about that. Oh, I need more food. Need more food.
Has no work sites in range. Well. We need more food. I gotta remove it. Shit, I can't remember. Green? Not good. Right there. Door. And then we want more wheat, right? Wheat needs to go to red. clear that out. population growth. We need more food, right? More bread. We have 39 people. We need 39 bread, right? We have six people open. We have an extra worker. We have an extra worker. everything everything's fine right are we getting meat how, how how do we kill those sheep Art, artesians workshop oh there we go we got our population done right they want me to get to 60 and i need apartments how many minutes do i have in the demo 12 minutes? Well, I'm not gonna get that in time. There's no way I'm gonna get 60. Right, grow your population and increase the amount of workers you can assign. Your immigration rate is based on your city's attractiveness. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. Uh, luxurious rural house in a 2x2 two two pattern can upgrade to an apartment. Oh, that's this right over here, right? To upgrade, you must have a high enough desirability and be stocked with two different luxury goods. Your city must have a sufficient religion rating from housing successful Easter services. You 
Yeah, you can produce a secondary luxury good domestically or build an emporium and trade for it. Houses without many neighbors uh, will become rural apartments, while houses in denser areas will become urban apartments. Oh. So basically, I need to do clusters of two by twos without anything nearby. The only way to do it. And we can't do that in 12 minutes. There's no way. They're not. That's not gonna happen. But yeah, this nice demo here is very replayable. I can't wait for the full game on this one. Yeah, there's no way we can complete any of this in the 12 minutes. I'm pretty sure of it. What I should have been doing is design it based on a two by two block. There's no way to move this, right? There's no move option. Yeah, there's no move option. Hmm. We've had like 10 people die. Okay, people eat three food items per year, one of which can be a luxury item, and drink one water. Okay, so they drink wine, and then they eat bread. How's bread produced? What's the conversion rate for bread? I don't know. Yeah, I wish it would tell me. They would tell me the difference. Wheat as bait. Uh, is baked from wheat at a bakery as basic food item. Can be consumed as basic food item or baked into the bread at the bakery. Why would I make bread off of this? I guess for the, the church service. Right. So technically, in the, the day, I just need a ton of wheat. Why would they eat wheat raw? Right, you would think that they would just eat the bread. Bread is more efficient use of wheat than eating it directly. Does that mean one one of this goes into two of this? What's the conversion rate? It says it's more. Oh, there you go. Convert. Okay, there you go. Conversion rate: two wheat equals three bread. You definitely want more bread. More of this. That's the conversion rate. So basically, I need to make as many bakeries as possible. How many more minutes do I have? Oh, eight minutes left. I think it just means more workers. Yeah, I, I think upgrade just gives us more workers. I wish it would just tell us what the the bonus is. Advanced barn allows you to assign more farmers and hold more crops in simple barns and allow you to build farmer farms and pastures in a larger surrounding area. Oh, larger surrounding area. Farms allow you to build farms, pastures nearby, and assign workers to work in them. Uh, farmers will work will work any crops that are yeah. The, the rest of that is normal, right? Farms also yeah yeah. That's the rest. Of the top part is the 
like the top part is the benefit of the upgrade. Think of a better design for this. What do we got here? Six minutes? Ugh. Can't do it in six minutes. bread right wheat is more efficient by like lightly lightly so the bakery gets gets us an extra piece of bread or extra food item i don't know i think it needs to be way more efficient than that i was hoping like one one for two Okay. One for two would be better. Demo is gonna go. Oh, no. a larger radius. Oh, I got a plan for that next time. I see, I see, says the blind guy. our food range. Much better, right? Hey, thank you for that follow there, Vaco51. Appreciate that. Let's 
this guy needs a worker, right? Yeah, we're not gonna make it, right? It's in the one minute. There's only like one minute left in the game. <laughs> the demo time. We coming to a a draw here and then soon. Wow, this was fun. I definitely enjoyed this game a lot. Highly recommend checking this game out. Let me give you a link. The demo is available for everyone. Now you know what not to do, right? Or what to do early in the game. So make a lot of food early in the game. Make a lot of food early in the game. Otherwise, you lose all these dead people. You get dead people, right? That was my bottleneck, was the food. And then build houses and clusters of fours. Build houses and clusters of fours. And put a plaza like right in the middle of this, the cluster. Yeah, just put a plaza right in the middle. And I guess the wells just could be in the corners, right? The four corners. Yep, any minute now, the demo is going to end, right? Oh, there we go. Find out. No, nope, that's it, right? I think it's... Nope, sorry, not yet. 13. Oh, there you go. Demo time expired! Wish uh, list Historic City on Steam. Share your city with us on Discord. You've reached the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Well, that was nice. I definitely enjoyed this game. This is really nice. I might consider playing this again in the future. Now that I know how to play. And uh, now I know what not to do and what to do, right? So, yes. Now it's time to switch to a different demo. So thank you for watching this one. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Uh, this VOD will be available there soon. And then... Um, yeah, I can do the crust next. I can do the crust next. Well, actually, I wanted to do Auction Uncluded a little bit, and then I'll do the crust. So... Let me go back to the main menu, right? I don't know if this goes back to the main menu or if it just goes to the credit or or it just quits the game. You know what? Let's just click on the credits and we'll leave that here. So BRB, I'm going to use the bathroom and then we'll uh, play a different game here in a second. So BRB.